Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Tony. I'm here with the Everyday Counts program and we have a chair yoga class today which is only seated in the chair so we're not coming down to the earth. So making sure that the chair you're on is comfy and you've got some space around you and making sure that your intention is listening to yourself. So you're listening to me a little bit of the time but about 90% of the time you're listening to yourself, your body, what feels right to you. And if at all you feel you need to adjust the movement to suit you a little better, rest or do less repetitions, please go ahead. This is your class. There is no wrong way to do this. Setting up in a seat. If you like the support of the back of your chair, please sit into it. Otherwise, feel free to come forward and that way we're supporting our own spine and you can of course come back and forth as you want to. Feet at a comfortable distance for you. Pick up through the toes if you like and spread them wide and it doesn't matter if you've got socks or shoes on, just do the best that you can and what feels right for you. Option is to pick up the balls of the feet, you can wiggle those ankles a little bit if you like. And then when you're ready, set the balls of your feet down if they were lifted and then the toes drift gently down. So the pressure is in the balls of the feet evenly and the heels and left to right. Allow yourself to feel the earth underneath you and a great way to do that is to close your eyes, take a big breath in. Exhale, take your awareness down to the soles of your feet and really get connected downwards. Imagine, sense, or feel that earth underneath you. And then let your legs soften. We hold constant tension in our body, so notice that tension. And then notice where you can let it go in your legs. So you can allow your feet to take the weight and the earth to support you. Take your awareness up to your seat where your seat is connected down to the chair. And again, you can wiggle a little bit just like we did with our feet. And then we sit deeply into that chair, allowing the upper body weight to really rest into the pelvis. And you might notice as you do that, there are bits of tension and tightness in your torso that you can actually soften and let go especially around the belly and the lower back. And then evenly sitting, left to right, forward and back. So the shoulders are more or less over the hips and that's gonna be different for each and every one of us. We're all put together differently. Drawing the ears back over the shoulders. You can tuck the chin a little if you like. And then lifting all the way up through the torso, through the base of the skull and the crown of the head reaches the ceiling. Rolling the shoulders back and down a few times. And you might notice some clicks and clacks in there, that's okay. Allowing the shoulders to settle away from the ears and broaden across the chest. So we notice the shape we're in. Take a breath in. And then exhale, let the tension go. If that means shifting a little, please do. Another two breaths like that. Lowered soft gaze or closed eyes. Notice how it feels. Sitting as you're choosing. So many of our aches and pains are because of posture. So just being aware of our posture and how it is that we're sitting can really help that over a long period of time. And then we'll take a moment and you can keep those eyes lowered, soft or closed if that's comfy for you. And just tune in, notice how you're doing today. Notice your thoughts. And maybe they're repetitive thoughts about something in particular or maybe they're coming and going always replaced by something else. 
Notice the feels, how you're feeling. And then notice your physical body. You might notice that in a sense of energy. A lot of people feel it like a humming or a buzzing coming from the inside. And if you're not quite sure what that means, then one of the easiest places to feel this is in the tips of your fingers or your lips. And if you place your awareness there, then sometimes you can sense energy. Maybe you sense it in a way of tiredness or full of energy or somewhere in between there. And maybe you notice sensations in your body. Maybe there's particular places that are tight or tense or you have discomfort in. Try and stay away from the stories as to why. And also notice the quieter places in your body, the body where you don't have stories attached to them. Maybe the parts of your body that you never take your awareness to. And just notice there too. And there may be sensation, there may be the absence of sensation, there may be that buzzing, and there may not be, and that's okay too. We're not trying to create something, we're just noticing. And when you're ready, soften any tension that you can, and then we start to pay attention to our breath. Breathing in and out through the nose if that's comfortable for you, and if it's not, then breathing in your own way. And we start to deepen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Not trying to force the breath, so little increments at a time, and stopping at a place that it feels sustainable, like a good length for you. And take a few breaths just there with that deeper, longer breath. And then we start to smooth that breath out, the inhale and the exhale. Steadying the inhale to the top, smoothing the exhale down to the bottom. So the breath becomes a little more regular. And it's fine if there are places that don't feel smooth at all. That's why we're doing a practice. It's a practice and we just keep doing it. And as we keep doing it, we get better at it. And so no judgment here, just a curiosity, like, hmm, that seems pretty hard on the top of my inhale. It gets really crunchy in my breath, I notice that. And that's all you need to do. Try and steady it out as best as you can. And then I want you to listen to the sound of your breath. Listen to the sound of it coming in, inside your head, and listen to it coming out. And you might just tune your ears in to take, pick up any sound of breath that you can. And again, trying to smooth that sound. And I'm going to give you a mantra of so hum. This is a Kriya Yoga. So on the inhale, from the bottom of the inhale, say it silently in your head all the way to the top of the inhale, and hum on the exhale for the entire exhale. And blend that so hum sound with the sound of your breath coming in and out. And a mantra, that soham, is just it's a sound. It's a sound that we give the mind to occupy itself. So we're not so tangled up in the thoughts. And if that doesn't suit you, then no big deal. And if you find a better mantra, like simply saying inhale, exhale, or counting one, two, you can do that too. There is no wrong way to do this. And often, it just allows us to keep bringing our awareness back to it when our thoughts really want to take us off into a different direction. 
And that's just part of, it's just a tool for coming back in the moment. Anytime we're paying attention to this moment, sensation, breath, awareness, then we're back in this moment. The thoughts like to take us into the past, into the future. So I'll keep bringing us back to this so hum breath. And you can, of course, ignore me and breathe in your own comfortable, easy way. We're going to root down through our feet and seat and rise from there. So hum. And with the very tip of your nose, when you're ready, starting to create a figure of eight in the air. So hum. Allow the movement to be lazy, to be guided by the breath. Notice if you adjust your shoulders back or forward, if that movement becomes a little easier for you. You might notice where you experience this. It might be in your neck, it might be in your upper back, shoulders, throat. It might be somewhere else entirely. Maybe those figure of eights get a little bigger and more expressive and maybe they stay nice and small. So hum, any dizziness, you're coming back to stillness, focusing on your breath. the end of the next exhale when you're ready we'll pause and take those figure of eights around in the opposite direction now that'll feel a little less smooth that is okay so hum noticing again if you can adjust your body in any way or the movement in any way for it to feel better for you there's not a particular way this needs to look. We're all different. Rest if you need to, otherwise two more breaths. And then when you're ready, we'll come all the way back to center, rooting to rise. That right arm dangling down. With the right shoulder, the head of the right shoulder, we're figuring that figure of eight, or I'm creating a figure of eight with the tip of that shoulder. Now elbow, elbow can be bent or straight, that arm can get very involved or it can dangle, you can do anything that feels really good to you. It will be a natural movement in the upper body a little bit, try and still the torso as much as you can so that movement is as isolated into the shoulder as you can. You might notice that there's a particular area that feels really challenging, maybe slow that down or don't take quite so many repetitions there. Pause at the end of the next exhale and we'll take that round in the opposite direction. Now I know I and my body feel this in very different places and it's not in the shoulder. Inhaling and exhaling. So hum. Listen to the sound of your breath. Another couple of breaths here, unless you're resting. Mm -hmm. And then we'll pause and let that right hand come back to support. I'm of course mirroring you. Left hand comes down. Shoulders are back and down just softly and the collarbones are wide. Listen to the breath. So hum breath and figure of eight on that left side. Take it nice and easy. Controlling the joint in your way. And maybe that figure of eight is a little bit more like a circle for you because that feels better. You get to choose. Listen to your breath, or notice if you're getting taken off into stories. At the end of the next exhale, we'll pause, and then take that round in the opposite direction. And once again, where do you feel this? Do you only notice the challenging parts, or can you recognize the easeful parts as well? Hmm. Last one here. And then when you're ready, we'll come back to center. Any intuitive movements 
to release any tension, go ahead. And then from here, you're going to bend those elbows, soft fists with the hands, rooting to rise. I'm going to draw that right elbow on the inhale, back, up, and on that exhale, we'll take it over the front of the body as the left elbow comes back, up and over. So imagine you're pretending to do some freestyle swimming. And if you wanted to, you could link those hands and the elbows are actually creating figure of eights here. I find it a little easier to not have my hands bound, but you get to choose. If you want to add on here, rather than a neutral spine, rounding the spine, taking the chin down, the gaze down, and then we're opening up through the back body. So spreading the back of the ribs wide, the back of the heart, there's even maybe a tuck of the tailbone there, so we're, that's gonna take it down into the lower belly. And again, that gaze can come down, chin in. Mm -hmm. Let's take two more either side. Now this doesn't have to be a big movement. It can be a small movement. It is your movement. The end of that exhale. I'm gonna release the elbows back. We're gonna come all the way back to center. Rooting to rise, neutral spine here. I'm going in the opposite direction. So this is lifting the elbow up, back and down. Now again, this can be a small movement. Don't be surprised if one side is very different from the other. You get to choose. Getting that range of motion through the shoulder. Now if you want to add on, arching the back, lifting the heart, and the gaze can lift if the back of the neck is long. If you're feeling like you're just compressing the back of your skull towards the top of your shoulders, then keep that chin drawn in. So now we've got that openness through the chest and we're opening through underneath the armpits, the front of the ribs, the belly. Let's take four more either side, nice and slow. Listen to the sound of your breath as it comes and goes. Adjust the movement to suit you. More or less two more either side unless you're resting. And on the end of that exhale, we'll come all the way back to center. A big breath in. Exhale it out. Mm -hmm. So this is the inhale. On the exhale, we're going to take the gaze towards the right. Inhale to center and take the gaze off towards the left. Listen to the sound of your breath as that's happening. So hum breath. Option to dangle those hands down so the shoulders drop a little. And let me change sensation a little in the neck. The option next time you come over to the left to stay and then dip the chin as if you're glancing towards the floor. And then when you're ready, the gaze comes up and over to the opposite side, the right side. Option to stay, collarbones wide here, dipping that chin down. Breathe into sensation, back off if the breath is not steady here. The breath is your guide. And when you're ready, the gaze comes up, and we'll just do one more either side. Mm -hmm. Coming back to center, hands resting on the top of your thighs. Back of your chair can be great support, but as we're coming into cat and cow, you may consider coming forward a little or a lot. On the inhale, we lift up through the crown of the head. Once again, shoulders are soft, collarbones wide. Take a breath. 
Let the exhale out. And on the next inhale, the heart's coming forward as we arch the back. Fingers come slide up the legs. And on the exhale, push the hands along the legs for a little massage towards or on the knees as you round. Now we've already been here with that arching of the back and the rounding, extension and flexion of the spine. You can use the hands to put as little or as much pressure on the legs as you like, a little massage up and down. Inhaling and exhaling. If you want to, add on. On the inhale, option to spread those arms wide, keep a nice soft bend in the elbows and draw the back of the hands back. On the exhale, we're curling and wrapping the arms around us in a hug. Notice which arm is on top and then we spread the arms wide on that inhale, opposite arm on top on the exhale. And the hands as they hug you come to forearms, elbows, upper arms, shoulders, depending on how long your bones are. Inhaling and exhaling. And of course the arms are just exaggerating the spinal movements. Listen to the sound of your breath. And we've got another two either side with the arms on top, so four more breaths. To center, allow those arms to dangle down, palms towards me, rooting to rise. Now draw the shoulder blades towards each other as the palms maybe turn up towards the ceiling. On the exhale, turn the palms down, maybe back behind you, and maybe the palms turn up again on the outside. The shoulder blades are sliding away from each other, and the collarbones are almost collapsing into a, the, a C here, like a um, an arch. And then on that inhale, the back body draws towards each other as the chest is open. Exhaling, the back body is now wide. So it's a little bit like that cat and cow, but it's right up in the shoulders. So the um, lower belly is drawn in here, the ribs are drawn in, and the movement is in the shoulders. Rippling that all the way through the fingertips to the shoulder blades. Option to stay here. Now if your shoulders are feeling tired, please stay. Option to draw those hands anywhere up towards shoulder height, but no more, as if you're kind of twisting in and out of the light bulb. And then when you're ready, hands come down and give those arms a little bit of a wiggle. Hands resting down on your legs. Rooting to rise, coming into a little twist here. This is the inhale. On the exhale, right hand comes forward, left hand draws back as you twist to the left, inhaling back to center. Exhaling, twisting. Mm -hmm. Allow this movement to be gentle never pushing ourselves. Option to twist and stay. Glancing over that left shoulder if you like. Push into the right foot to bring the right hip back so the isolation of that rotation is through the spine, not getting into the pelvis and breathe. Three breaths. Stillness or movement, your choice. If the hands are getting very grippy here, hover the hands so the musculature of your torso is holding you here. And then on the next inhale, we'll come all the way back to center. Same thing to the other side, nice gentle twist. This is the inhale, we're rooting to rise. On the exhale, 
twisting to the right. We're not looking for the biggest twist. What we're looking for is the breath, listening to the sound of the breath and the movement, mimicking the steadiness of the breath. The option is to keep this momentum, this movement going. Exhale, option to stay. A few breaths here. Rooting into the left foot to bring the left hip back. Glancing over that right shoulder. And again, if the hands are getting very grippy here, option to hover them. And we're staying. Last breath here. And then when you're ready, we're coming all the way back to center. Big breath in. Exhale it out nice and soft. Taking the hands dangling down next to you. Rolling the shoulders back. This is the inhale. Listen to that breath. So hum breath. On the exhale, we're dipping those right fingertips down. Left shoulder lift. Inhaling up and exhaling to the other side. Now the crown of the head is almost shooting a rainbow over the top of you. So there's length in the back of the neck. We're not collapsing the neck to one side or the other. There's control there. Keeping the pelvis rooted down on the chair. So if that those left fingers are lifting, that right hip is really rooted. It's not getting light. Same thing as we go to the other side. And this is about getting that range of motion through the side waist and that lateral flexion of the spine. Mm -hmm. Let's take one more either side. Nicely done. Coming all the way back to center. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Beautiful. And then we're going to take those feet a little wider. Now we're going to be here for a little while, but always take breaks when you need to. And if it feels better to kind of wash those knees from side to side or come back to center every now and again, please do. Don't be surprised at one side feeling very different from another. And if here you don't feel very secure, sit back into your chair. Feet are under the knees, so they're neither um, at a kind of diamond shape, neither are they out. So that way we have a little more support. Wiggle and waggle a little bit, make sure you feel stable. Fingertips coming to the inside of the legs or the arms of your chair. And then from here, we're going to roll through those ribs. Barrel rolls through the ribs here. As if you were hula hooping through those mid to bottom ribs. Now, once you have the movement, and maybe for you it's a very small movement, but allowing an expressive body to draw into this. So the shoulders, the neck, the head, Maybe the pelvis gets involved. Maybe you start to notice how you're pushing differently into one foot or the other. Rolling round. Mm -hmm. Great way to get inside and notice your body here is to soften the gaze, lower the gaze, or close the eyes if you haven't already. Let's take another three in this direction, nice and slow. So there's no momentum here. This is control through the spine. And at the end of that exhale, we're going to come back to center and then roll it the other way. And keep that breath going. Listen to the sound of your breath. So hum breath. Mm -hmm. Let's take another three. Pause if you need to. And then when you're ready, we're coming all the way back up to center. Hands coming in towards each other. Soft palms, soft fists, or you can interlace your hands. 
Wherever you are, we're gonna turn the palms down around chest height. Take a breath in. So on the exhale, hum, push the hands down. Elbows can come towards straight or can keep a nice bend in them to ease the shoulders. You're gonna push those palms away. And again, that you can push the um, knuckles away or if you've just got palms to palms, fingertips rest. Inhaling up, now keeping a nice bend in those elbows. This doesn't have to be a, um, a lifted very high, or you can take them overhead and get that length, your choice. Turn the palms down on the exhale, you're drawing that down. Now really focus on the sound of your breath here. Lifting, so hum on that exhale. Listen to the sound of your breath. Slow the breath down, smooth it out. Let's take one more. And the when those hands come up, this is the inhale. Exhale over to the right. Inhale to center and over to the left. No matter where those hands are, to the right, and then over to the left. Coming back to center, turning the palms down, hum. Nicely done. Hands coming back onto your um, legs. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Mm -hmm. Making sure you feel comfortable, and if you need to ease your hips, then please go ahead and do that. And then we're going to bend that right elbow, take the palm out. Rooting to rise, draw the right shoulder blade in towards the spine behind you. And then we wing out the right fingertip. So they may come to the side of you, they may even reach back a little. This is the inhale and the exhale. I'm going to tap them towards the inner left thigh. Inhaling and exhaling. Keeping that spine upright. That left hand is your support here. Staying here or on the inhale, you can start to take the gaze to the right. The arm will open up a little more. On the exhale, draw the belly in as you tap towards the inner knee. So now we're getting length down the back right side of the body. On the inhale, we're opening, exhaling, tapping down. Great place to stay here. And if your shoulders are feeling tired, you're staying here. Otherwise, option to reach up and back. And on that exhale, down and round. So we've got this diagonal movement going. And that left hand is supporting you. You can take your gaze with you if you feel stable. If you're feeling unstable, then you're picking a place in front of you and focusing your gaze. Listen to the sound of the breath, that so hum breath. You've got two more. Bigger isn't better here, so if resting feels best, then rest. Or one more, this all the way down to that exhale. And then we're coming back to center. Any intuitive movement to release tension through the right shoulder, go ahead. The left palm comes out, same thing, other side. Rooting to rise. And then we're drawing that left palm out to the side. That's the inhale. Exhale, long spine, tapping to the inside of the thigh. This is a great place to stay. Don't be surprised if the side feels different. No judgment here, just a curiosity. Option to open out to the left. On the exhale, we're tapping towards the knee. So we're starting to get some extension in the upper body here, that arch in the spine. On the exhale, we're rounding that flexion of the spine. A little or a lot. Hand can be down by your waist, or the option is to reach up and back, and exhale, round and down. Making sure you feel stable above all else. Focus on the breath, and blend the movement into the steadiness of the breath. Two 
two more. Rest if that feels better in your body. Listen to that breath, that so hum breath. And then when you're ready, we'll come back to center. Any intuitive movement there in the shoulder, go ahead. And then from here, hand to or on that right knee, you're getting down into the hips now that have been in this external rotation. Maybe pop up off the right toes or the ball of the foot if that suits your body. If it doesn't, then um, you can keep that foot down, rolling to the inside and outer edge of that foot. You're welcome to come forward in your chair if you feel stable or come more um, back into your chair and you'll have more support of the chair seat underneath your leg. On the inhale, we're taking external rotation, but we're not pushing past the breath. On the exhale, we're drawing that right knee down and in. Keeping that left leg as stable as possible. So that means that we're really not getting the pelvis involved. It really is isolating into that ball and socket joint at the hip. Inhaling and exhaling, noticing what you feel in your hip making any adjustments to the proximity of that right heel or foot or the size of the movement. We're never pushing past the breath. So we have that so hum on that exhale. Your cadence, not mine. Let's take another three here. And then the next time that foot come, or that knee comes out, we'll reestablish our foundation coming to the left side. Once again, keeping the foot on the floor or lifting up through the toes or the ball of the foot, whatever suits you. On the inhale, the knee is wider. On the exhale, it draws in and down that internal rotation. Keep the breath steady. You can do this with your eyes closed. Can guide with that left hand or maybe it feels better for the leg to guide itself and you find that hand often is kind of pushing mm -hmm. last one and then we'll take that knee out. If the foot was lifted, we'll take it back. And we take the legs back to parallel. Wash the knees side to side, just to ease any stiffness through the hips. Mm -hmm. Rooting to rise. And making sure that you feel stable on your chair here. So if you slid forward, maybe you wanna come back to feel more solid there. We're going to extend that right leg out in front of us and slide the right heel off to the side. Toes are spread as wide as possible. And from here, we're going to circle through that ankle. So push the toes away from you and then draw the toes up towards your shin. Keep that nice bend in the right knee. And if you press your fingers right into the hip joint, you'll notice that this movement actually is not just in the ankle, it's moving through the whole leg, right up into that um, femur bone, moving in the pelvis. And then when you're ready, we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Don't worry if the heel is traveling to one side or the other, um, just bring it back to where you feel is stable. That left leg is your foundation here. And then we'll take those toes up towards the sky. Bring that right heel back into kind of parallel. And then from here, toes are spread really nice and wide. We're pushing into the heel. Maybe that right leg still has um, a nice bend in it or it's towards straight. Hands coming to the top of that left thigh, lifting up. This is the inhale, the long spine. So we're not rounding here as we come forward. This is the inhale. If you're already feeling this in the back of your leg with those flexed toes, please stay here. Otherwise, option on the exhale to come forward. Push into the palms to come up, shoulders over hips. So we're kind of rocking forward and back in that imaginary rocking chair, if you like. So hum breath. As you come forward, it will increase 
the intensity of sensation in the back of that right leg. So only going as far as the breath is guiding you. Sole of the foot is stretched wide as those toes are reaching away from the heel and fanned out. Option to keep pulsing up and down. Option to come forward and stay. So hum breath, three breaths here. Lifting up through the shoulders, belly is drawing in and back towards the spine behind you so there's no overarching of that mid or lower back. Collarbones wide. Staying for that last breath, that last exhale, unless you're resting. And then push into the legs and we'll come all the way up. And that right ankle comes underneath the knee again, washing that knee in and out, getting rid of any tension. And we're coming to the other side. So the left heel comes out in front of you and a little off to the left. External rotation is more comfortable for most of us, but if um, you play around with it, see what suits you. Nice bend through that left knee, and we're pushing the toes away, and then on that inhale, we're drawing, flexing the ankle, drawing the toes back towards you, fanning them out. Mm -hmm. And once again, readjust anything that suits you, and notice this is a whole leg movement here. So we've already got some lubrication through the hip. We've got some clicks and clacks through my ankle there. Don't worry if the heel is traveling as long as you feel steady. And then we'll pause and take it around in the opposite direction. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. Bring it back to center, drawing that left heel in, hands towards or on that right thigh, rooting to rise. So nothing's changed here um, when we were sitting apart from that extended left leg and maybe the legs bent or towards straight. This is the inhale with a long spine, hinging at the hips, so not through the mid body from the hips on the exhale, option to come forward, inhaling up. So waking up the back of that Left leg here, use the hands on either the arms of the chair or that right thigh. And that right foot is rooted here. Keeping on pulsing, listening to the sound of your breath. And the option is to stay here in movement or come forward and stay, three breaths. Inhaling and exhaling. Noticing how that feels. And then when you're ready, pushing into you at the palms, bringing the shoulders back over the hips and drawing that left leg in, washing the knee in and out. Option to draw the knees in towards each other. So if you feel a little unstable here, as we have a, little, um, a narrower foundation, option to sit further back in the chair. Wing that right knee out, coming to the outer blade of that foot. So the ankle is flexed, the toes are spread wide. And you can heel toe that right foot in towards the left, so it's got something to push against, and we're once again getting into the hip. Hands to knee to knee. This is the inhale on the exhale, coming forward, inhaling, shoulders over hips. Now this is a great place to stay. Option number two. I've got two yoga blocks here. I'm not expecting you to have yoga blocks, but you might have a stack of firm books. Taking the right knee out, and then the option if you do have yoga blocks, you can take those yoga blocks underneath that right foot. And here we are, lifting, elevating that foot, getting into the hip. The option is to stay here. Depending on your range of motion, taking that left ankle underneath the left knee, option is to take that ankle on top of the, right, uh, the left thigh. S flexing through the ankle, spreading through the toes. Wherever you are, we're rooting to rise. 
Now, if you're up here, but the spine is bent in, you could consider taking your foot down. So we have that longer spine. Option, wherever you are, this is the inhale and the exhale, we're coming forward. And it's not gonna take very much for us to notice that sensation in the outer or inner right thigh. Option to stay here pulsing. Option to come forward and stay breathing. Inhaling and exhaling. So hum breath, listen to the sound of your breath. And then when you're ready, coming all the way up to center, wherever that foot is, releasing it. If you do have those blocks or um, books, then you can take them in between your legs. And then we'll wing that left knee out, coming to the outer blade of that foot. Now, if you have the blocks, then your option is to elevate that to any height that feels comfortable for you. Rooting to rise. And the option is... If that range of motion is there, then the left ankle can come on top of the right thigh. Flex through the ankle, spread through the toes. Rooting to rise. This is the inhale. This may be where you stay. Listen to the sound of your breath if it's still smooth. And that sensation um, is not too much for you. The option is with a long spine to rock forward. It might be a millimeter or a centimeter shoulders forward, inhaling shoulders back. It may be more. You may play with it and decide, no, that's not for me. Listen to the sound of your breath. Notice where you experience this movement. We're not pushing down into that knee. The hands are resting gently. Option to come forward and stay. Keeping the breath steady. And when you're ready, shoulders come back over the hips and wherever that leg is, we release it. If you have those blocks or books, you can take them out the way. Drawing the knees and ankles in towards each other one last time. Right leg, um, right hand over to the left thigh, outer thigh or down towards the knee. That right hand can slide back or left hand can slide, slide back behind you. Depending on the chair, it can catch the back of that chair. We're lifting on the inhale and rotating on that exhale. Breathing, three breaths here. Soften the gaze. So hum breath. Listen to the breath as it comes in and out, even in that twist. Soften where there is tightness and stay for the last breath. And then on the inhale, releasing the hands and coming all the way back to center. Same thing, other side. Left hand to the right thigh, outer thigh or knee. Right hand comes to the side of you, or the chair, or back behind you. Rooting to rise, and with that, option to twist and stay. Three breaths. Gazing over that right shoulder, softening the face, listening to the sound of your breath. And staying for that last exhale. And then when you're ready, releasing the hands and coming back to center. And then we'll sweep those arms wide, big breath in. Exhale, one last hug. Give yourself a hug, elbows come down. Notice which arm is on top and we inhale, spread it wide. And exhale, coming down. Sitting all the way up and Taking those feet a little more parallel, last thing into the wrist. Let's take those hands into soft palms, 
fists or interlace the hands. Look down at the, at the fingers if they're interlaced. Spread the fingers wide opposite um, four finger and thumb on top. Elbows coming in here and figure of eight through the wrists. Mm -hmm. Option to stay there, option to allow those figure of eights to get a little bigger. Now listen to your breath as it comes in and out and allow the movement to mirror that steady breath. Option to take that a little bigger or smaller. And then when you're ready, bring that back to a small movement and we'll pause and take that round in the opposite direction. Nice and smooth, getting into the wrists. And that option is taking a little wider, a little bigger. Keep the breath steady. And then the last three here, we're bringing those figure of eights back into smaller figure of eights if they got larger. Take the fingers together, spread those palms wide, spread the fingers, and then curl them in into a tight fist, as tight as feels comfortable for you, and then spread the fingers out nice and wide. Two more times here, getting into every one of the joints of the wrists and fingers and thumbs and hands, curling it in, and then giving those hands a nice shake. And from here, we're sitting back into the chair, getting as comfy as you can, really using the chair for support. And if there's anywhere you prefer to be lying down on a mat, on a sofa, or on your bed, please take the time. This is about relaxation. I'm relaxing in the chair because that's what I have. And then take a big breath in. So all the way up to the top of the breath. Hold at the top. And then exhale like a <sighs> Two more like that. Big breath in. So. Hold. <sighs> One more. And on that last exhale, see if you can really let your body rest back into the chair. Softening the gaze, closing the eyes if that's comfortable for you. And feel the support underneath you and behind you. So you might feel that underneath your feet, your thighs, your seat, the back body. If you're resting somewhere else, maybe you can even, or depending on the chair you're on, maybe it's the back of your head, your shoulders might be supported. And let the breath come back to its own natural rhythm. time taking your awareness to the crown of your head and then allowing the crown of your head to relax and allowing that softness to roll through the top of your head your forehead down through your temples relaxing and releasing muscles as you go imagine that as you scan down through your body, inviting in warmth and relaxation, go at your own pace, keeping your awareness as you soothe and allow your body, invite it to start to let go and unwind. And if there's a particular area that you want to spend more time on, go ahead. I'm going to leave you in quiet and you can do that as many times as you like finishing at the soles of your feet you and always take your awareness back to the crown of your head and allow that softness to sweep down through your body once more and you might notice as you do that that you can relax your body much more every time it happens every time you sweep that awareness through your body. And so do, go ahead and do that as many times as you wish here.
sense of tension and tightness to dissolve. Notice just how much you've allowed yourself to let go today. Stay there as long as you like. Or when you're ready, starting to... Notice that support underneath you one more time. Taking a breath in. Exhale like that sigh. And take another few breaths just like that. As you fill up from the soles of your feet to the crown of your head on the inhale. And feel a little more alive and alert. And then take those breaths into intuitive movement to awaken you from your resting place. And we'll make our way up to a place that we want to finish our practice, whatever that may be for you. Rooting down to rise. Big beautiful breath in. Exhale, drawing your chin down towards your chest. Collarbones are wide here. Maybe the hands come into a gesture of closing. Tune in one more time. How are you feeling in this moment after movement and breath? Building your awareness. Maybe you have, as you take your awareness into your body and you notice that in the body awareness maybe you notice that more as a humming or a buzzing or sensation notice your thoughts your body and come back to that soft breath no control now just listening to that inhale and exhale in your own rhythm maybe set an intention to come back to listening to the breath a couple of times today or the next week. And then from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you for joining me.